Hello, Mr. Good Duane. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, how are you doing today? Not bad. Okay. Of course, there wasn't that many people on today. I guess. Sorry? So there wasn't too many people in class today. Oh, uh, Deva? There, there was only two other people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's see how many people we can get today. I know Miss Dawn won't be here because she said she had to go pick up her medicine. Oh, that's bad because uh, we were hoping for Miss Dawn to catch up on the class because yesterday she was not there. So I thought she could catch up today. So what Miss Fantasia and uh, I were thinking was that uh, on Monday and Wednesday, we uh, talk about new concepts. And on Tuesday and Thursdays, we talk about what we already know or what we already have learned in the class. And we want to revise it or, you know, we want to use it in some other light or do more advanced questions or whatever the need is. I'm sorry, what was that again? So, uh, me and uh, Ms. Fantasia were talking and uh, we were thinking that on Monday and Wednesday, we will do new con concepts. But on Tuesday and Thursdays, what we'll do is we'll revise what we already know. And uh, if you want any advanced question, whatever the need of, you know, the students is, we'll do that on Tuesday and Thursday. So what do you think about it? Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Yeah, so let's see how it goes today. So uh, uh, can you see the meme of the day, the joke of the day? Do you remember complimentary angles? <laughs> Yes, I do. Yeah, so this is how they are, the complimentary angles. They are complimenting each other. Hello, Miss Fantasia. Good morning. I couldn't hear her. Yeah, uh, you, uh, she's on mute. Where everybody else is at. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to learn. I see Miss Sandeja says good morning in the chat. Hey, let's wait till uh, until then. You can, you know, uh, we can discuss if you have any doubts. Well, you basically went over what I need, needed to know yesterday, how to do the percentages into fractions, so. Uh, the percentages into fraction, uh, uh, did you do it? Like, uh, how comfortable are you on that? I, I didn't do it. Uh, I, know. I didn't write anything down yet, but uh -huh. I, did go, I did go over, try to go over it. Because you explained how to do it, yes, I believe yesterday was when you taught us how to do it. Yeah. Or the day before. No, or it was before. yesterday. Yeah. So uh, okay. now you get it. On uh, So basically, the how to convert percentage. If we have percentage, then we convert it into uh, a decimal. And then we convert the decimal into a fraction. Yeah. That's why I was having difficulties with, but you you showed us how to do it. Yeah. So and uh, percentage to decimal is by dividing into hundred, and decimals to fraction is dividing by one and number of digits. Yeah, number of digits. You know, right? I can't figure out where I put my notes at. <laughs> yeah. I got so, so many books with notebooks for different things, and I keep on writing them into so math and social studies, social studies and math. <laughs> and 
I'm unorganized. <laughs> it's fine. Then you should divide your notebook into two parts. It's you know it works better. It worked better for me. Uh, where we at? No, I got him somewhere. <laughs> okay, take your time. We have lots of it. I got the, we did the angles and stuff yesterday. Yeah. Oh, well, I that note. Gonna seem like I didn't, I didn't copy anything down. <laughs> okay, I'm on on yesterday's lecture. No, on the uh, the percentages and two fractions and stuff. I didn't write none of that down because. Okay. But I I got the things for the angles and stuff. Okay, that's good. And uh, there are uh, on Miss Tracy uploaded some lectures on YouTube, so you can uh, you know uh, if you want to revise, you can go on to the YouTube and you see the lecture itself. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me now itself. So there's no problem. If you want to write anything of the formulas or anything, we can do it now. No, I, 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 remember how to, I remember how to do them. I just thought I wrote them down. OK, that's fine. So, and uh, how are you doing with the equations? Are you uh, familiar with the equations now? Are you, have you done any more questions on equations? Uh, the no, because I've been trying to go through the, I've been trying to go through all the different assignments that you set, and it's overpacking my phone. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, I hope uh, soon we will have a solution for that. So let's see. Uh, if. Uh, Let's uh, let's see. Do you want to take our equation? Do you want to try to solve an equation? Can I give you one? Yeah, we can try to solve the equation. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, use another variable because it is tough to draw x. <laughs> can you solve this for me? Y equal take away three equals two. Okay, let me get to that solution for that.
So is that going to be... They're going to be two takeaway three, two wide takeaway three plus three. Yeah. And then equals two plus three. Mm, yes. Then? And it's going to be two over one takeaway zero. Uh, two over one. Uh, two over one what? Two over, two over one. Well, two over two would be equal to three. I mean, uh, the zero, or uh, one, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, so, uh, do you, uh, what do you want me to write here? Two multiplied by what? Multiply it by y. Y. Five. It looks something like this, right? Yeah. And then we, because we have to uh, make the y alone, we divide both sides by two, right? Right. So what will I get here? Five over. Five over. Five over one. Five over two, Mr. Rune, because yeah, we divided five, two five. on the left side, right? So we have to divide two on the right as well. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. So, so that come out, that come out two, two and one half. Yeah. So the, uh, y is equal to five over two, right? Yeah. Okay, let's take another equation. Find my equation. Work. So this is four equal to three x plus one. So remember our goal. Our goal is to make the x make the variable alone. So it would be so would that be three x plus one take away one? Yes. Equals four plus one. Three x plus one take away one equals four. Four plus one. Ah uh, no, you subtracted one here, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, negative. I'm sorry. Yeah. Or take away one. Now, what should I write? Uh, three, three x over one. Three x over one. Yeah. Is equal to what? Equal to. Equal to three. Equal to three, right? Now what do I do? Uh, you go down and write uh, three over three over three yes. over three three x over three. Yes. Equals three thirds. Yes. So why um, would the y would equal out to uh, three thirds. Yeah, which is one, right? So x is equal to one. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, I see how how we're doing it now. I actually just found my notes on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So plus equals negative, negative meets plus, x meets divide, and divide meets x. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, remember our goal of the equation. Our goal is to make the variable alone, right? And if I have a variable like 2x, then how do I make it alone? By dividing it by 2. Because when I divide 2x by 2, I make it as just x, right? Right. And you can think of it like this way. Because 2 is multiplied, I have to do an inverse operation, which is divide. And I divide it by 2, right? Right. So let's try another. Okay, so how how will we proceed in solving this? Hmm. Uh, Mr. Green? Uh, I'm looking over the thing real quick. <laughs> yeah. So that'd be 2x take away... 4 plus 4. Yes, 2x take away 4 plus 4 is equals to? Equals to 2, negative. I don't understand why you got minus 2 or is that point 2? No, it's a minus 2. Just treat it like a number or uh, negative 2. Minus 2 plus 4? Yes, perfect. Now, what do I write? Should it be 2x over 1? Yes. Equals. Mm -hmm. 6 over. 6 over 2? No, it should be 2, right? Negative 2 plus 4 is 2, right? Oh, okay, yeah. So it's just two. So, uh, so uh, you don't need to jump on the division part. Right now, just solve the uh, addition, okay? Okay, All right. so it'd be 2x. Now we do the division. So it'd be uh, 2x over 1. Yes. Negative 2 plus 4 would be, that would be 2. Yeah. So 2x equal to 2. Now how, how do I make x alone? Um, so it'll be 2 over 2? Yes. Is equal to? Equal to 2 over 2. Yes, the same operation which we did in the left. So, so what is the value of x now? x will equal to 1. Perfect. Now let's I got, try it. Yeah, I, I got confused when you had to equal negative 2 yeah. plus 4. Yeah, that, that's why I put it there to, you know, uh, make you wonder a little. Because I want you to know the concept which we are working on. Because the question in the examination might look different. Now let's try this one, okay? Okay. Okay. Hmm. That'll be x over one take away three plus three. No, x over two. It's not uh x o. It's it should always be x x over two, right? But it was x over two, so we did not do any operation on x. So it it will still be x over two, right? Okay. Yeah. Plus three take equals two plus three. Perfect. Now what do I do? 
Uh, X over two. Yes. Equals to one. Five, right? Two plus three is one. I had two. Ah, uh, sorry. Two plus three is five, right? Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm subtracting. I don't know why I'm adding. <laughs> it's fine. Thank you, sir. Hello, Miss Alvina. Can you hear me? Good morning. Hi. Good morning. So uh, today we are just uh, discussing our doubts. Uh, you know, clarifying if you have any doubts or you know, working on any concept that you would like. So Mr. Dwayne and I was working on uh, equations. So let's complete this equation, then we can move on. You both can solve another equation. So can you complete this equation, Mr. Green? Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot hear. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, hello, Ms. Dawn. Good morning. I hope you all can hear me. So that would be 5 over 2. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Duane, as you see, the 2 is multiplied, with, uh, divided with x. So we need to do inverse operation, right? Uh, that would be x over 2. So x over 2 is multiplied with 2, right? Yeah, so that would be 5 times 2 equals 10. Yes, so x is equal to? 10, right? Okay, let's try it. Sorry? I was just trying to figure out why we ended up getting multiplication in there. Yeah, so uh, why we multiply is because uh, we want to make the x alone, right? Our goal is to make the x alone. In order to do that, we multiply the x with the number because x is now divided by a number right so in order to make the x alone i have to multiply it because when i multiply 2 i got the x alone right we do the inverse operation okay so we're basically when we look at x over 2 we're, we're not even subtracting it we're just going with the plus plus 3 on the back side and basically adding the other five, so you eventually you're going to get ten for your answer. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, Miss Dawn, uh, me and Mr. Dwayne were going over equations, and I believe uh, that all of you have some doubt on the equations part. So I will uh, take the equations again from the very scratch, from the very beginning, so that everyone is clear on how to deal with equations, right? So uh, let's just start. We are starting all over again on the equations part. I know uh, Ms. Fantasia have already covered this in the class, but and uh, the method which I am teaching you might be a little different, but I promise you that this will work 100% of the times. So what happens is we have a very we will have a variable in the question and something attached with the variable. So we have this 2x uh, and uh, two, we have 2x plus 3 is equal to suppose 6, okay? Now do not worry about how you will solve it, but always remember our goal. So our goal is to make the variable alone. So the x is our variable and we have to make the... Okay, Ms. Dawn, can you hear me? Uh, Ms. Dawn, you entered from multiple devices, so I don't know if you can hear me. If you can hear me, you can write in the chat box. Okay, Mr. V, what is yes. the variable? Yeah. What is that? The variable is the alphabet here. Any A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z is the variable. Okay, so it's just the letter, right? 
Yeah, the the letter is known as the variable. Okay. Okay, so okay, so we add three and two and that gives you wait, three and two gives you five. It gives you so no, uh we are sol we are trying to solve the linear equations and I'm teaching you how to solve it. So let's see how we solve it, okay? Okay. So uh, we'll get uh, see this is this le this letter this alphabet is a surprise letter it can be anything okay. Okay. we don't know the value of this and in the question we will be asked what is the value of this in word problem in our real life it means that if I say you I have some type of notes in my pocket I don't know what type of notes I have in my pocket and I you know, pull uh, the bills out of the dollar bills out and I give two of the dollar bills. Okay. And then Mr. Duane adds three dollars on top of it. Okay. I added two unknown dollar bills on the table and Mr. Duane added three more dollars on it. And someone told me that the result of our whole, the whole total, the whole sum of our bills is six dollars then you have to find what type of bills I had. Okay, so this is a problem like this one. So what we say in mathematics is 2x plus 3 is equal to 6. So we have to find what the value of x is, what the value of variable is. Okay, so how are you going to say 2 plus 3 equals 6? That's not right, 3 plus 2 is 5. No, Ms. Dawn, uh, notice that there is an x. Right, so why are you ignoring the x? So it is 2x plus 3 is equal to 6, right? It is multiplied by a number x. Oh, you multiply. Okay, you multiply the, the, because the x is closer to the 2 and the opposite of multiplication is division. Yes, gotcha. but that will, no, uh, that will do, that will do on the later part. So right now we just have an equation. Let's try to solve it and how we solve it. That's that's what I'm teaching today. So we have an equation. Okay, like, why, why do you have two points? That's a it, point, right? No, it's not point. It's multiplication sign. So uh, oh. what I'm trying to say is 2 is multiplied with x plus 3 uh -huh. is equal to 6. And we have to find the value of x. I, okay. How is... Uh, I, how is two lots of okay? I'm done. So, I don't. So, care. I'm done. Ms. Don, I have not started yet. So just you know, just follow me for some minutes, and you will know what we are talking about. You know, you already are familiar with the equation. That what is an equation, right? Right. It, it is something like two x plus one is equal to 6. It is another equation, right? This is another type of equation. Okay, so it doesn't matter one number is after the equal sign. Yeah, it doesn't matter because that's, we are trying to find okay. the value of x. Okay. okay, that's what was messing with me, with that yes. number. Yes. So uh, now let's see how we find the value of x. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to make this x alone okay mm -hmm. and how we make it alone is by following the inverse of pad mass which is s a m d e p you can write it in your notebook whenever solving the linear equations we follow the inverse of pad mass which is s a m d e p so this S means subtraction, A stands for addition, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, E stands for exponents, and P stands for parenthesis. So first we look for S. Is there any subtraction in the equation? I try to find is there any subtraction in the equation. So I see no subtraction no. in the equation. So I cut out the S. Now I look for A, addition. Is there any addition? So yes, there is an addition of plus one. So whenever we find an operation, what we do is inverse the same operation. 
now you all know that what inverse is so what inverse means whenever we find a addition then we do subtraction of the same number whenever we find a subtraction of the number we do addition of the same number if we find a number multiplied then we divide the same number on both the sides and if i find a number divided then i do multiplication on both the sides okay so we are all aware of the inverse operations so here in the equation i okay. found okay uh okay you said addition is the addition sign so instead of the addition you do uh subtraction so you do you stop with the one and subtract the one from that yes perfect so that that is what i am showing so uh, i know you already know this but uh, uh, let's see how because uh, everyone might not know this so let's see so i found a addition okay. in my question right so what i will do is yes. i'll subtract the same number on both the sides so i write subtracted by 1 on the left and on the right i do the same subtract with 1 okay now i solve this so what i get is 2x and plus 1 minus 1 is actually equal to 0 right so it is 2x plus 0 is equal to 6 minus 1 that is 5 so i can if i do not write 0 that's fine right because we do not have to write 0 always The anything plus zero is the same thing. So I write two x is equal to five. Now notice that the x is still not alone. It is still not alone. So we again use our same. We repeat our method of finding S A M D E P. And in terms of that, we were covered. We have found. We have not found S. We are done with addition. now we see if there is any multiplication so yes 2 is multiplied with x right we see the multiplication 2 is multiplied with x so what is the inverse operation of multiplication division right the inverse operation of multiplication is division so i do 2x i divide 2x with 2 and in the same same fashion i divide 5 with 2 because we do whatever the operation is whatever the inverse operation is we do it on both the sides so 2x over 2 so 2 is cancelled with 2 now our x is alone notice that our x is alone so the answer is 5 over 2 so the value of x comes out to be 5 over 2 now does anyone have any doubt on how we got 5 over 2 you can unmute your mic and let me know yes how do you get that okay uh, so uh, ms do ms uh, on on which part uh, are you confused on like where, where do you think the 5 over 2 because look you cancel that the twos now Because the two was multiplication, yes. aren't you supposed to divide the two into the five? Yes, because two was multiplied, so I divided two on both the sides. Inverse operation, right? Okay, but how did you get five over two? Because uh, if I divide five, it. okay. So uh, look at here. uh you are clear with we had 2x equal to 5 right yeah i'm good with that yeah so uh now notice that 2 is multiplied with x and we want to make the x yeah. alone okay so we find right. the m in sam dep we find the m so m is multiplication so we notice that 2 right. is multiplied with x right right so we have to do the inverse operation now the inverse operation of multiplication is division division perfect so we divide right. to we divide to on both the sides right right 
So we divide two. Divide the, okay, the five over two. You didn't divide the two into the five because you can't do it. Yeah. Two so goes into five two times. That's four. Yes. That means you'll have one remaining. Yeah, so uh, you can, so depending on the options in the exam, you know that how to convert a fraction into mixed fraction, right? You can write the five yeah. over two. Yes, okay. you can write the five over two as two one over two, right? It is a mixed fraction, right? Yeah, yeah. And also, also if you try to divide it and convert it into decimal, you know you will be able to do is at two point five. Yeah. If you find any of the okay. three in the options in the exam, you tick the tick that. Okay. You mark it correct. Okay. Okay. And hence, and hence you are able to solve the linear equation. Uh, Miss Alvina, uh -huh. are you with us? Uh -huh. Probably she got disconnected. Okay, Mr. Dwayne, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I thought you would be uh, subtracting the two from the from one though. Uh, sorry, uh, two from Ow. there? Yeah, because I thought 2x take plus 1, negative 1, yes. equals 6, negative 1. I thought you would be subtracting the 2x from from 1. Yes, uh, so uh, what we do is... I don't understand how. No, I don't it's understand fine. how. It's fine, Ms. Dawn. It's, it's uh, about Mr. Okay. Dwayne's doubt. I'll clear his doubt. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Dwayne, what we do is, uh, there is 2x, right? So, 2x is multiplied. So, when we do the subtraction, when we did the subtraction, so we subtract the number from the number. So, always notice that when, when we initially had 2x plus 1 equal to 6, and when we subtracted 1 from both the sides, what we wanted to do was we wanted to eliminate the plus 1. We wanted to get rid of the plus 1. Okay? Okay, I'm I'm seeing how you did it now. Yeah. You so, just subtracted uh, 1, take, the plus 1, negative 1 equals 0, and the 6 okay. take away 1 equals 5. So that's how you got it. Then it'll be 2 over 2. Yes. So uh, that's how we do in the linear equation. We try to uh, eliminate the numbers one by one. We, we because our goal is to make the variable which is x alone, right? Right. Right. Okay. So let's try another equation. Ow. Okay, so let's try to solve this one. So this, this equation is same as the equation above, but now the variable or the letter is on the right side. So do not worry if the letter is on the right side. We will do the same thing. First, we will write S A N D E P. Okay. And we always check on the variable side. So is there any subtraction? No, right? There is no subtraction. Is there an addition? So yes, there is an addition on the right side. One is added. So what we do is we do the inverse operation. So inverse operation of addition is subtraction, right? So 3x plus 1 and we subtract it with 1. On the left side, okay, we you do just, You just asked us if there was a subtraction up there. There's not. Yes. So what are you subtracting? Yes, so if there was a subtraction there, we add because the inverse operation of subtraction is addition, right? Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. I'll take, I'll take an example of subtraction as well. Let's see how this goes, okay? Okay. So we subtracted one in the left side, so we'll subtract one on the uh, we subtracted one on the right side, so we subtract one in the left side as well. 
So now 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay. And the 3x remains as it is because we have not divided or multiplied anything. So the 3x will remain as it is. Plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So we, we, we can write 0 or we cannot, if we want to skip, it's fine. So we got 3 equal to 3x. Now still the x is not alone. We want to make the x alone. So we again look into the SAMDEP. So we have covered addition. Now I see, is there any multiplication? So yes, I see a multiplication of 3. So what is the inverse operation of multiplication? It is division. So I divide both the sides with 3 because 3 is multiplied. So I do the inverse operation of division and I do it on both the sides. So I get, so this 3 and this 3 get cancelled and I get 1 equal to x. 3 over 3 is 1, right? So right. my value of x comes to 1. Okay. Do you have any doubt in this? Look, can I have somebody else take my math to <laughs> Well, Don, believe me, you will take your math set and you will excel it. So don't worry. Yeah, this is too much. <laughs> All business on me on the test. Uh, so let's let's try for today. We'll go step by step. And you know you will you will be good. That's what mathematics is about, right? Going step by step. Let's see if you both can solve this question, okay? I can't. I don't know what it is. I can't do it. Oh, you can, Miss Don. You have to believe in yourself because you just did two of the questions above. So believe in yourself, and you will be able to do this question easily. <laughs> Okay, now do this and remember the steps. First we use SAM, DEP. No. <clears throat> then we, if we find anything in SAM, DEP, then we do inverse operation. Okay, now do this in your notebooks and I want the value of x. 5 over 3. Don't rush. Don't rush. <laughs> do, it a step, do it a step by step. That, that's how we do in mathematics, right? We do it a step by step. So first find a subtraction. If you find a subtraction, then do the inverse operation. Then find the multiplication. If you find the multiplication, do the inverse operation on both the sides and then you will get your answer. I didn't know that <laughs> while you were talking. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I was <laughs> fine. Oh, man. Yeah, five or six. Mr. Duane, I hope you are solving it as well. Yeah, I'm ready down my notebook.
Ms. Dawn, are you solving the question? Ms. Dawn, can you hear me? I already did it. I did okay, it. So, so what is your answer? Five over six. Five over six. Okay, so uh, I don't think that might be correct. Let's see if we can get it. Okay. I I put one. Yes, uh, Mr. Dwin, I saw. And again, I don't think uh, that is correct. Let's go uh, over what we. Okay. So first, we try to find S, which is subtraction. So you must all have find. S right subtraction of one okay yeah so the first operation of subtraction is addition so 3x minus one so we add one on both the sides oh wait okay. a minute yeah I did that wrong okay that's fine so uh, you can follow me so 3x Minus 1 plus 1 is 0, right? So right. 3x plus 0 is equal to 5 plus 1 is 6, right? Right. So I get 3x equal to 6. Now x is multiplied. So what is the How inverse you, operation of multiplication? Division. How did you get 0 though? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, Mr. Dwayne, you had any doubt? How did you get, when you did the 3x negative 1 plus no. 1, how did you get uh, 3x plus 0? Are you so, subtracting uh, one, 1 from 1? No, 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 I'm not subtracting. So in the, in the initial question, we had minus 1, 3x minus 1, right? So we yeah, add been, 1 from 2. No, uh, when when I add plus 1 with minus 1, I get 0, right? Minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, right? Okay, uh, I'm seeing it. I misread so, the, read it because I went back to the one we did up on top. Yeah, so uh, on top, we had uh, the uh, addition. So we subtracted it. But here, we have subtraction so we added it right the inverse operation so we had 3x minus 1 subtracted with 1 are you getting me okay so it would be equal 6 over 3 yeah 6 over 3 so always remember always remember after the first inverse operation we will always get 0 here we will always add or subtract 0 there always will be 0 But then you divide three and a six, and you get two. Yes, and then we get two. So yes, two is the answer. X is equal to two. Okay. So let's take another question. It's fine to, but uh, let me go over this question again. Just a bit. So what we do is. We do the inverse operation of subtraction, which is addition. So why we did this addition was to eliminate this minus Where one in the question. Where you at, Mr. B? Uh, sorry, Ms. Don, what are you saying? Where, where are you at? I don't see where you are. Oh, okay. So I'm at the uh, the question again, uh, the, where it is written S-A-M-D-E-P. And above it is written 3x okay. minus 1 equal to 5. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we add 1 because there was a subtraction. So we do the inverse operation of addition. And whenever we do inverse operation of addition of or subtraction, we always get 0 on the variable side. Remember this, we always get a 0 on the variable side whenever there is a subtraction or addition 
Mr. Duin, do you understand this one? So you're saying either way, if it would have been 3x plus 1, take away 1 would still be 0? Yes, it will still be 0, yes. Okay. I, then I did it the long way, because I went all the way up to the top one that was similar to this, and it, it was totally a different answer. Okay, so let me see what we did on the top. So it was like 2y subtracted with 3 equal to 2, right? Um, 2x, 2x take away 4 equals negative 2. Okay, let me go back. Okay, 2x take away 4 equal to negative. Miss Dawn, uh, don't worry about this question. There was this question that me and Mr. Dwayne were discussing. So, uh, if you do not get it, it's fine. So, Mr. Wait. Dwayne, we had 2x minus 4 equals to minus 2, right? Yeah. That's why I was so, kind of going off of, yeah, like, so 2x take away I, 4 plus 4 or equal. Because if you, if it, either way, if it would have been negative 2, negative 2 or regular 2, I thought it would still come out to 1, but I read it wrong. I forgot it was a negative 2. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So, uh, so the answer for negative 4 plus 4, like, take away 4 plus 4 is equal to 0, right? We have not written here 0, but we implied 0, okay? Yeah, I, I see it. That, that's what I'm saying. I just misread the this is the wrong way. That's why I ended up doing getting this wrong. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, Miss Dawn, can you see uh, me on the x plus two? I have just made another rectangle on x plus two. Can you see it, Mr. Dwayne? Are you yeah. both on the same side? Yeah, yep. I see it. Can I get a hundred? Can I get an A for today's work? Yeah, you can get Yeah. All right <laughs> now. But uh, All right, now tell Miss Corey. Let yeah, Miss Corey know. <laughs> yeah, I I let uh, I let her know. I let all the staff know. But uh, yes, please. Yes. Uh, so let's try another question. Can you? Uh, I'll. No, I'll man. Just just uh, one simple question. And let's see if you. you keep saying, Mr. V, you keep saying these are simple questions. They're not. <laughs> Things are not simple. <laughs> <laughs> you keep this telling us simple. they're simple. What's simple about this question? <laughs> There's nothing simple. I know this is not simple, but um, yeah. once, you, once you do this, you can brag to the other students when, who are not you know, attending the lecture. You can brag to them. And it will be easier to you, but not to them. And you can, you know, just show off your skills. You can do that, right? No. Miss Dunn, <laughs> Miss Dunn, I also recommend saving your questions to the end of him finishing the problem because sometimes he's getting ready to answer your question. You got to be patient and let him finish, and maybe write your question on a notepad on the side. And once he finished explaining how to do the problem, then you ask the question. Okay, Miss Tracy, he keeps saying these are simple problems. He keeps saying they're simple. Yeah, There's but... nothing simple about these. Miss Dunn, if, the you don't, if you don't listen and let him get all his thoughts out, yeah, it might seem confusing. So it's a lot simpler than you think. Really? Could you do this problem for me and just text me the answer? Come on, Miss Tracy. <laughs> Come on, Miss Tracy. I'm going um, to let Mr. Rapool, Rapool get back to his class. So my phone is <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Okay, let's, let's come back to our question. Uh, this is X over 2, and thank you, Miss Tracy, for the help. And let's see if we can do this question. X over 2 plus 3 equal to 5. I hope you both can see the question, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay. So yeah, I let's do it. I'm, I'm writing it down. As well. okay. I'm trying to solve it. Sure. Good, good. So do the same thing. S-A-M-D-E-P. 
do it step by step miss don do not jump because you know if you try to skip the steps it's not fun Okay, Ms. Don, I got your answer to be four. I don't know if this is correct because you are faster than me. Let's see if I get the answer as well. Okay, Mr. V, on the test, you're supposed to put uh, X and then you put the equal sign in the end. Yes, that, that's how we do it. Yes. That's correct. That's the way they want it done on the test, right? Yes, the test will uh, give you, prob probably will give you four options, like one, two, three, okay. four, and you just select the okay. two out of those. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Duane, I'm waiting for you. Are you solving this? Yeah, I'm thinking if I, if I yeah. do, uh, I'm saying the answer is X, X equals 8. Okay. Uh, okay let, uh, uh, did you do this part correctly? Uh, X over 2 plus 3 minus 3 equal to 5 minus 3? Yeah. Okay. So the answer to this part, let's see what the answer is, okay? So the answer to this part is x over 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. Mr. Duane, did you get this one? Yeah, I got, I got that so far. Okay. So in short, I get is x over 2 is equal to 2. So I multiply 2 on both the sides because I find division, the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So I multiply 2 on both the sides. Now this uh, 2 gets cancelled by this 2. So I get x is equal to 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4. So the okay. answer is x is equal to 4. So where did you get it wrong? I, I uh, did the 2 times x. Would, okay. Like I made the x into a 2, so a 1. And that's why I got it mixed up. But yeah, you're right. Answer is four. Yeah. I did it the wrong way. No, that's fine. So, and Miss Dawn, you surely get an A for today's class because you got this one right. And it's good. She's so. a cheater. <laughs> How Don't forget to tell my story. Okay. And uh, uh, Mr. Dwayne, why do you think she cheated? Like, she did something? Uh, no, I did you let to the jail? Mr. Dwayne, stop messing around now. <laughs> did I miss something? Did I, did I already cover this question in class? Or what happened? Uh, I would not know it. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll give it to you uh, because I don't care if you cheated. Sorry? How did I cheat? How did I cheat? Please tell me so. I, I will know. I will cheat. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So uh, don't worry if uh, uh, because the main thing is getting the question correct in the examination. That I know you all will do. You both will, you know, take the correct answer in the examination. So I'm fine with it, right? So. 
let's try another question for my own sake. Two is equal to. Uh -huh. So uh, we are trying another question. Mr. V, you like the matches, don't you? Yeah, I, I, I yeah. you and breathe, breathe mathematics. <laughs> uh -uh. So this is 2 equal to 3x minus 4. Okay. Why? 2 equal to 3x okay. subtracted 4. Okay, here's my problem. I don't know where, which way to start. So what I usually do is I go to the four, and since that's uh, my uh, subtraction, I do addition to the yeah, four and two. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that, that's what you have to do it. Yeah, that's how okay. you. Okay. It it is the same. I have done nothing, uh, you know, different. But I have changed the sides. That's it, and nothing is different. It is the same. Okay, someone wrote the answer in the chat. I'll see. Okay, uh, you think x is equal to six? If you if you are not sure, then you, you should do it again step by step. And um, it's fine if you are not sure, but you know, uh, I I did the first step for you. You can go on and do the next steps. So I did the first part for you. But I want to understand how I did. I want you to understand how I did it. Okay, Miss Dawn says x equal to three. Okay, Miss Dawn, I just wanted want to make sure that okay, I'll, uh, let's wait for Mr. Dwayne, then we'll discuss the answer. The answer is going to be 6 over 3? Yes, the answer is 6 over 3, which is 2, right? Equal to 2. Yeah. So, Ms. John, uh, please focus. So, uh, do you both got 6 equal to 3x in your first attempt? Uh, Mr. Dean, did you get 6 equal to 3x? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ms. Don, what about you? Equal to three x. Yes. Can you see this? Yeah, I got it. I got six okay. equals to three x. Okay, and then. But then, but then look, the three x is multiplication. Okay, so yes. then I have to divide. Yeah. So I divide three from three, and I knock them out, 
that's zero. So then I got to divide three into six, which is three. No, uh, when you divide three into six, it is two, Miss Dawn. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. It's a silly mistake, but that that is why I always fo I always tell you to focus on the step so that uh, you know you do not commit silly mistakes like six divided by three is two, not three, right? Mm -hmm. I did it. I did it all the time. Whenever I see two multiplied by three, most of the time I got five instead of six. I just added. Yeah. Yeah, that that's what I used to do. Two multiplied by three is five. So, but this mm -hmm. is not how uh, multiplication works, right? So, I hope you both understand the method of how we solve the linear equation, right? So, I mm -hmm. uh, I'll upload a worksheet of linear equations today, so you can do that. Okay. And uh, let's talk about some, let's talk about angles, okay? So, because Ms. Dawn, we have covered angles, right? So let me give you a quick re recap to both of you what an angle is. So whenever you see uh, lines like this, and this is A, this is B, and this is C, so this is angle. Miss AC, what is processing emotions? <laughs> what is that? The emotion part will be done after this class. So let's please focus on angles. Uh, you already showed me this, didn't you? No, this is what no. we went over yesterday. Yes, oh. uh, yes, oh. it is. Uh, okay. um, yes, so this is a quick way. Yes, you both know it this. I, I, A to B, what is that? Yeah, no, this is angle A, B, C, or this is can be known as angle B, right? This is how we name our angles. Uh, do you remember, Miss Dawn, we talked about this? Yeah, I don't remember. Okay, it's fine. Oh, wait, so whenever, wait, wait, wait. You said uh, there's a straight line. That is called a line, right? Yes. This and this do. is called an angle because it, it points in an angle. Yes. Perfect. Okay, remember. that's the way I remember things. Yes. Is that what you right. said, right? Yes. Okay. So this is angle ABC. This is known as angle ABC. Okay. So this can also be known okay. as angle B because it is at point B, right? And no way. What? Yeah, this this angle can also be known as angle B because it is at point Why? B. Why? Why? Because it is at point B, right? If you see this, this is at point B. Oh, you so, mean the point? Oh, yes. you're talking about the point. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yesterday okay. in yesterday's class we discussed some properties of angle. You know, Miss Dawn, about one property of angle, but uh, let me uh, let me revise it for you. If we have a line, mm -hmm. okay, a line is like an open notebook, right? Okay. So, uh, suppose I had a notebook like this one mm -hmm. uh, look at the upper part so if i have a notebook like this i am trying to open it and i open it completely okay i open it open it open it and i make it horizontal on the table so it makes a line it makes a straight line right my notebook okay so the angle of a straight line or an open notebook is known as 180 degree okay that's what uh, we discussed. We already discussed this, right? So you have to remember this, that whenever I open a notebook, the angle which I make from an open notebook is 180 degree. And the, okay. angle, and the angle I make
from a L, the shape L, when I make a shape L from the notebook, I say the angle that the notebook is making is 90 degree. Okay. Wait, is that still an angle? Yes, that is a still an angle. How is that still an angle? How is that still an angle? So, uh, how we define angle is a mouth. Okay. The mouth of the notebook is open. Suppose I open a notebook and okay. the mouth is now open. So if I have okay. to define how much the mouth is open, how much the mouth, so I cannot say uh, the mouth is open one pound. I cannot use pound. I cannot use miles. So what I use is angle. The mouth is open as 90 degree. Okay. I measure the mouth as open in 90 degree. And when I completely open my notebook, I say the mouth is now more open and how much more it is now 180 degree. Okay. It can't be just 100. No, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, so we it's define all the way open. Look, yeah. look, Mr. V, it's all the way open. So yeah, that can't be considered a hundred. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, in terms of percentages or everything, we use hundred as the maximum thing but in terms of angle we say when it is completely open it is 180 degree okay that's how we okay. do an angle okay okay and when okay you're talking about an angles right yes 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 you have to remember okay. this two points okay okay and we also talked that this angle is known as right angle right what angle this L shape angle. Whenever the angle is equal to 90 degree, the angle okay. is not a right angle. Okay. R it's I not a right angle. You said it's not. No, it's an angle, right? It's a 90 degree okay. angle, which is known as right angle. Okay. okay. You should uh, note this down in your notebook. Okay. Okay. Yes, perfect. So uh, in yesterday's class, Ms. Tracy will up, uh, will upload the video on the Google Classroom. You should look at the video, and uh, okay. if you, because yeah, you know, and if you have any doubt, we will go over this because we will have tutoring session on Thursday. You know, I have tutoring sessions okay. after the class. So you yes. Can, uh, yeah, yes. we can talk about it. Okay. And okay. Uh, now let me tell you some okay, more. Okay, we're things. gonna do all this, right? We're gonna do all this in. In our session on Thursday, right? Yeah, we can. We we will do all this in the session on Thursday. I'm just, okay. you know, giving you a quick recap on what you already know, okay. what you already did. Okay. 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 Someone's phone is ringing. I don't know. Okay, Ms. Don, can you hear me? Yes. So when you hmm. when you put it in a what is this called? Oh my God. So whenever the when angle, put, yes, go on, please. Okay. When you put it like this, what is that? Isn't that still an angle? Yes, it is it's still an angle, which is known as acute angle because it is smaller, like, right? It is a very cute angle. So we call it acute. Okay. Okay. And now, okay we deal with some fat angles. So what we call fat is obese, right? So remember that a fat angle or an angle greater than 90 degree, when we open the notebook more than L, we call that as obtuse. O B T U S E. Obtuse angle. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Now you just have to write this down in your notebook. You will remember because this is simple to remember, mm -hmm. right? Because if a, if, if something mm -hmm. is small, we call it cute, right? So the smaller yeah. angle is known as acute, and the bigger angle is known as obtuse. I don't understand none of this. 
No, and it's nothing to understand. You just have to remember this stuff. You uh, because you do understand what an angle is, right? When I open my notebook, the mouth yeah. is the angle, right? Yeah, because you said when you when you open your notebook, that's an angle. Yes, that's an that's angle. A, B, and C. Yes. So what what if I open my notebook in a shape of L, a perfect L? What the angle is called? Uh. You said a right angle. Yes, perfect. That's a right 90, angle. That's 90 degrees. Yes. But what if my angle is less than 90 degrees? What I, what do I call it? An, uh, uh, acute angle. Yes, perfect. Acute angle. And what if my angle is greater than 90 degrees? That means it's a fat angle, which is a, uh, 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 a Obs two, yes. of, uh, okay. Perfect. So that that's all you have to remember. Okay. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And so I'm over here panicking for nothing. Oh my sorry? god. I'm over here panicking for nothing. Yeah. That's what you say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here panicking. <laughs> That's just a shame. Like you, so what, you, haven't get, you didn't show the per, per perpendicular perpendicular lines. Uh -uh, yeah. What's that? Yes. What so, is uh, that, Mister Dwayne? Uh -oh. no, so he's talking uh -oh. about me. So uh, and uh, Miss Dawn. We, uh, oh, you have okay. seen the ra railway tracks, right? Okay, is that a line or a line segment? No, it's a line. It's a line. So they are going. It's a rail. It's like railway tracks. So whenever a line is like like railway tracks, what is the mm -hmm. special thing about railway tracks? Is they ne never meet with each other, right? They never cross each other. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, so so they always go like this, straight. So these are two lines which will never meet each other. Okay, they will always go it go on like this and this, but they they will never cross or intersect each other. These lines are known as parallel lines. P A R A L L E L. This set of lines are known as parallel lines. So when two lines do not meet each other, they are known as parallel lines. Because they don't they don't touch each other? Yeah, they they, they never touch each other. E even if you extend them, even if I extend them because they are line, they go infinitely, right? So even okay. if I extend them, they will not touch each each other. They will never touch each other. Okay, so the one the lines that don't touch each other are called parallel lines, yes, right? Yes, and the, and the line, the parallel lines you can also think of uh, the streets. They go parallel from each other. Yes, you can think of mm. streets. Yes, but now when two no, streets. No, Mr. Duane. Go ahead, on, Mr. Duane. Mr. Dwayne trying to run the class. Look out now. No, Mr. Okay, Dwayne is this, just trying to help I, you in remembering. I'm just trying to help is you. This fragment, of, where no. is the fragment at? No, so this type of lines, you see this is a square, right? Because it, it is like when we okay. stand on a, uh, on a square, when two roads meet. So when if two roads meet and they make a 90 degree mm -hmm. angle, on any part, uh, what is a 90 degree angle? A right angle, right? So if they make okay. if they make 90 degree angle by crossing each other, when two lines cross each other and make 90 degree angle with each other, then they are known as perpendicular. So I'll write the spelling Ooh. in a. I'll write the spelling down. Per, per what? 
perpendicular. Okay. Okay. Whatever you said, because I can't say that word. Okay. No, I have a question. You no, said please. you said that it's ninety uh, percent right in the middle, right? But ain't, ain't all these lines? Ain't all these lines the same? Yes, they are the same, but they are uh, on the upper part. The lines are not meeting each other. On the lower wow. part, the lines are crossing each other at the angle of ninety degrees. So ninety degree is not all the lines. Yes. So if if we find a ninety degree angle between two crossing lines, then we call those lines as perpendicular. What line is called there? Which Sorry? one are you talking about? I don't. I'm, oh my goodness. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm talking about the lower lower diagram, the second diagram. Oh. Okay. So oh. these are two types of line, just simple as that. This is two types of line. One is, as Mr. Duane said, one is like a street. Okay. A no, normal okay. street. The two sides of a street, they do not meet, right? They do not touch either, each other. The two sides of street, right? They are always apart. Okay. So those are like parallel lines. What we call those lines as parallel lines. Now, two streets, two separate streets cross each other, right? Like two roads cross each okay. other. Now, if the two roads cross each other in a perfect L, they make perfect L, then those roads are known as perpendicular lines. Okay. Okay, that's the word right here. For, for, yes. for what you say. Yeah, you don't have to bother that's about pronouncing the name. Okay, so that's where the ninety degrees is. Yes. And the and that word that you said that means that none of the lines touch. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what is this line at the bottom? No, no, the, the the line at the bottom is just I was saying that I am talking about the diagram. It's nothing. I will. Okay. So that's it for today's lecture. Do you? I hope you both understood each other. And uh, Miss Dawn, you should thank Mr. Duane because he was trying to help you in understanding what a parallel line is. Okay. Oh, what what you say? The parallel. But Mr. Duane said the parallel lines. I like streets. Yeah, like one street, like one street, because the two sides of a street do not touch each other, right? Right. So then it is like that's parallel line. Yeah. That's why I got. That's why I got the understanding from because Mr. Dwayne said that the two lines in the in the street they don't touch each other. Yes. yes and then yes. you said. And then you said the train tracks, they don't touch each other either. Man, I'm going to ace this test. Come on now. <laughs> so that, that, that's why you should thank Mr. Duane for giving a better example. <laughs> Man, I'm going to ace this test. <laughs> and if you think, Miss Don, know how we get, know how you, I don't know if you take the bus to uh, school or whatever, know how you yeah. got to go, how 43rd and... Yeah. College Grove, they they cross each other. That's how you can think of a perpendicular line. Because you got oh. 40 days and you got College Grove and you're just crossing. Uh, oh, who gone, Mr. Dwayne? Stop playing, Mr. Dwayne. <laughs> Mr. Dwayne Come on, Mr. Dwayne, you taking my test now. <laughs> I got someone to take my test, Mr. Duane. <laughs> if you're good with him, we don't know him. He just might. <laughs> okay, so all this is going to be up on Google Classroom? Yes, this will Mr. be. Um, yes, Ms. Tracy will upload a YouTube link, and you can watch the lecture, what we did yesterday. And if you okay. have any doubt, we will uh, talk about the thing uh, on Thursday's class and on tutoring session as well, okay? 
Okay. Okay. So I, I, what I want to do is I want to go on Google Classroom and write all this down. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. V. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Dawn. Thank you, Mr. Dwayne. And thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have a okay. good day. And take care. Bye. 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 Be safe. Okay. You too. Bye, bye. Be safe. You too. Bye. bye.